Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Get Started app in Windows 11 is one of those apps I don't think is frequented um, by too many users on a day-to-day -day basis. And the Get Started app um, lets you find out what's new and you can set things up um, just how you like it in the OS. So as an example, if you click on Get Started, um, yeah, you can customize uh, the experience of Windows for gaming, family, creativity, school, and so on. And you've got a couple of other settings if you um, use the Get Started app. Now, in regards to the Get Started app, um, something interesting has been spotted uh, in one of the latest preview builds of Windows Server 2025, which is build 26244. And this was spotted once again um, by Phantom of Earth over on X where the Get Started app and the nearby sharing are both missing and have been removed in that latest preview build of Windows Server 2025. So nearby sharing, as you may well know, you can share files, photos, and links with nearby Windows devices. And interesting to see that those have both been removed. Now, the obviously the title to this video is will microsoft be removing nearby sharing and um, from the windows 11 os and although i think um both have been removed and are missing in windows server 2025 in that preview build 26244 um, i personally don't think that microsoft will remove nearby sharing or the Get Started app when it comes to your so-called consumer editions of Windows 11. And my reason for saying this is because the Get Started app and nearby sharing, I don't think are conducive to um, the server environment. So I don't think they're going to be very useful or practical uh, in a server edition of Windows for obvious reasons. But I think when it comes to your so-called consumer editions of Windows 11, I think the Get Started app is here to stay and also nearby sharing because Microsoft um, has been giving nearby sharing quite a lot of attention. So I don't think they would pull it. So I can see why they've, they are removing it from Windows Server because it's not conducive to a server environment. And also, um, even if they did remove the Get Started app for whatever reason from the um, consumer editions of Windows 11, um, I don't think too many people, including myself, would actually um, miss the Get Started app if it ever was removed from Windows 11. But I do think though that um, nearby sharing obviously I think would would be missed by some um, consumer consumers of Windows 11 using Home and Pro editions. But nonetheless thought that was interesting. And uh, um, just putting it out there because obviously these little tweaks and adjustments with, uh, with Microsoft only time can tell and will tell as I always say on the channel. So it'll be interesting to see if they do remove get started or and or nearby sharing but personally on a personal level i don't think that will be the case in your so-called home and pro editions of windows 11 so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one